Another episode of UC Event.net. Still here, my name's Safa. You are still watching. That's a good thing. This is the pre- prediction of uh, the Ultimate Fighter 14, the final. And uh, what what do you have thoughts about this bout? Have you seen the season? Do you think it's entertaining? Who would, who who will win the main event? And who will be <coughs> will be the champion in uh, bantamweight? Um, featherweight? Is it featherweight? Whatever. Uh, but this season, very interesting. Uh, actually, Michael Bisping has been the good guy, and he he's like telling the fighters that don't show both and stuff like that. The Michael and Jason Mayer Miller is squishing water in, in in the other guy's face, and hey, the pranks in this season, woo 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 woo. Uh, they got some great fantasy, that, you know, with the ma- mariachis and stuff like that. Crazy. Um, this main event is hard to predict, but uh, I'm 100% sure who is gonna win. So uh, let's let's break it down. Boom. Word. All right. Um, <clears throat> the fight. I don't believe. Mason, Mason, Jason May Miller would, would be able to submit Michael Bisping. He is, uh, he's a good, good submission defense. The only chance Jason May and Miller is to finish Michael Bisping is to knock his ass out. But no, 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 no. Michael Bisping is a big ass middleweight, okay? Re- remember, he fought in uh, light heavyweight and did good until Richard Evans. Put a stomp on him, but uh, or lay him pray. He, he made him pregnant. And that that was a close fight. I believe it was like a split decision or something. So it wasn't so crazy. Uh, but uh, Jason May Miller, he has to use his reach, try to compete with him, stand stand him up and make him push him up, up against the fence and take him down. You know, East UFC style, and then. Try to capitalize on any mistakes from Michael Bisping. So what what does what does Michael Bisping has to do? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna tell you what Bisping has to do. He has to show that he's the better striker, and as soon as Jason May Miller gets that, he will get go for the takedown. The thing is, Michael Bisping doesn't have the best takedown defense, right? What what uh, may, uh, Michael Bisping uses is his uh, footwork and you know his jumping around style and you know his nervous style uh, can be some annoying sometimes. Uh, but uh, I believe that they want to prove a point in this bout because. Uh, <laughs> When they had the, their face of in, in the last episode of the of, of the of the fight, they they clashed heads and talked some good ass smack talk. So uh, I believe it's gonna be a war. But um, my, my Michael Bisping is gonna use his counter wrestling and his wrestling to you know strike, change level, bam, single leg takedown and take take it down and do some ground pound. That is when. Jason May Miller can boom on the ground. Jason May Miller can pull guard. You know, Jason May Miller sneak on the ground. He's a black belt, and um, he was close to submit. Jake, Jake the Snake Shields was close to doing that. So uh, that is his only chance here to win. If the fights go to the distance, I can guarantee you, I will ever, 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 ever never. Do another prediction video. If the fight goes the all three rounds and Michael Bisman doesn't win, Michael Bisman is gonna win this if the fight goes all the three rounds. I. Um, if the fight do- doesn't go, 
full time. Uh, it's, it's like 40, 60. 42, Jason Mayer, Mayer Miller. And, but uh, the, the thing is, I like Jason, J Jason Miller more, but uh, this is the only tough show that a fighter have grown in my eyes, you know? I like, I actually like Michael Bisping more. You are okay, Michael Bisping. You're all right, you're a decent boy. So that's my prediction. Bisping, decision. Yeah, TJ Dillashaw versus John Dodson. The little monkey, John Dodson. Easy. Uh, TJ Dillashaw, better wrestling, better striking. I don't know about, about his submission, but uh, if he's from Team Alpha Male, he has to great. He has to have good as guillotine and uh, Dodson. I was surprised that uh, he couldn't take down that. What is his name? Johnny Bedford? Maybe. Ah, oh, whatever. That that dude with the bandana and the hillbilly hair. Um, but T.J. Dillasaw will. I believe he, he will take this in the first round. T.J. Dillasaw TKO. Boom. Tony Fergus versus East Edward. God damn, they matching up with 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 a veteran man from American Top Team and. He ever was one of the best lightweights ever uh, a while ago. Now he's semi, but uh, Tony Ferguson, Le Ferguson, uh, fuck his name. Um, he's powerful. The thing is, does he have the gas tank and the wrestler wrestling and the scramble ability to handle Miss Edwards? Um, he's ever he can submit him, submit Tony and take it to the distance. But uh, Ferguson's own Tony's only chance is to knock his ass out. But uh, we go with Tony here. But the most lo logical has to be he's ever. But uh, I'm putting my chin out uh, and saying Tony. All right. Uh, what is his name? Johnny Bedford versus Luis G. Uh, Luis actually looked good in his when he fought his way into the house, but in the house he looked bad. And that fucked up green hair, man. It annoys me, but uh, Johnny Bedford actually looked good in the house. He didn't look during the training and the sparring. Uh, so is Luis an underachiever in the ring? You know, he buckled from the pressure. But uh, I believe that, that Luis has better wrestling in him, so he would be able to take him down. So if he, if he performs as he should, he, he should win it for a decision. Yeah? I'm going to go on with Luis. No, I, I can't pronounce his name, okay? Uh, sorry for this shitty-ass video, but um, I just have to put it out there and, you know, it's all over.